Um, it's like a broken record, but they were they're, they're great. I just I, I love their team. I love how they play. They got smart, experienced players. They're they're extremely well coached. Um, they got the best player in the country, and, and he makes everybody better around them. Uh, they're just an outstanding team. Obviously, a tough matchup for us. We struggled with them two times. Um, they, they're they're just a tough matchup for us. You know, our style of play and their style of play um, kind of leads to these kind of games. And and uh, you know, we got we got to find that answer if, if we face them again. Hey, uh, were, you, were there adjustments, and, and what were you hoping to achieve with the adjustments you made defensive? Yeah, it didn't look like it, right, Joe? Because the same score at halftime <laughs> um, as last game. Um, yeah, I mean, we, we played them a lot differently. You know, we um, we didn't double team as much. We didn't press as much. We didn't trap as much. Um, we tried to stay home a lot more. And, and that's why they're a well-coached team and, and, a, and a very good team and smart. So, you know, last time they hurt us with the threes, and we took that away, and this time they just drove the ball on us. You know, we, we, didn't, we didn't guard the, the dribble well. Thank you very much, Mike. Um, and, you know, so we adjusted, they adjusted, and did the same thing. And what about with uh, McDermott? What were you hoping to achieve there? We didn't, we didn't double team him as much. We didn't front him as much, so we stayed behind him. <laughs> so he just he killed us with twos. I thought, um, you know, he, he had a couple early on, on Daniel Chafu, um, but, but after that, we did a decent job taking away his threes, but um, he just killed us in the two-point area, in the post area. We didn't switch on to him as much. We didn't we didn't have guards on him like we did last time. Um, like I said, it's it's hard to say that we made adjustments when the, the outcome's exactly the same. But we we really did. We actually played them completely differently. Greg, Greg was saying that as well as they played at your place, they may have played better tonight. I guess from your vantage point, I think they might have um, executed better tonight. In um, and and. They might have executed better tonight, just recognizing what we were doing. But I, that, you know, that that game at our place was epic, man. That's that's one for the for the history books. That was pretty impressive. I, I didn't that one. I felt, you know, you almost felt like it was out of reach. You know, this one I, I always felt like we could, if we could shore up defensively, I f felt like we could be we okay. You know, you sc we scored 80 points, but give up 101. You know, so obviously defensively, you're not. You're not getting it done. Jay McDermott passed Larry Bird on the NCAA scoring chart. Um, what, just from your vantage point, you know your experience. Uh, how do you assess him? You know, sort of in the grander college basketball history and kind of what he's put him in perspective a little bit and maybe compare him to the guys that you've seen. He, I, I think I have a unique perspective in that I watched him. I was I was with the USA team last summer when he played with the. Uh, the developmental team against the pros, and he played very well. So sometimes you watch a guy in college and you, you try to think about how's that going to transfer to the NBA. But I saw it, and everything he does here in college, he, he did this summer with those guys. I think he's, um, I think he's as complete a player, and I, I do not use that term loosely, as complete a player with size as I've ever seen. I mean, with that six eight, six nine. There's nothing he can't do. He can take you off the dribble. He guards. He's tough as hell guarding. He defends. He rebounds. He moves without the ball. He seals. And he, he's the best post player that we played against, and he's the best perimeter player and, and maybe one of the best passers. I mean, at, and he's 6'8", 6'9". He, I think he's as good a basketball player as I've seen. James, so defensively, what happened out there that uh, – um, like Coach said, uh, they drove the ball really well and finished uh, over us. Um, we they did a great job, but we sh we, we weren't in stances. We could have did a better job in just little areas like that. They, they just uh, that's why I say they're a well coached team they um they they and they fight you know they they fight in the post man those those veteran guys uh raggy and and uh McDermott man they fight in the post like they just don't give you position you know and the other guys 
sink off their guys and help. And um, I, I think for their style of play, I think they have a style of play. You know, you don't just judge defense by what it, how many points you give up or what is your defensive field goal percentage. You judge it by how does it relate to how you play offensively. I think they're as good as anybody in our league because they, they don't play certain people. They, they, they don't let your best players get shots and they just give other guys shots. They dare those guys to take shots. Um, you know, and I think we just, you know, we just, we took the first available shot again. It, it's, it's never one thing. I mean, you gave up 101 points, but it's offensively we weren't good. This team, you know, this team has done a very good job against us twice, better than anybody. Um, so, you know, we, we've, there's certain things they do defensively, like just letting guys go, you know, just let them go. And then, and, and we don't, we don't, uh, uh, Handle that real well. You responded after the Syracuse loss. You responded after the first loss. And these guys, you're in the home stretch now. What got a tough game Tuesday night? Yeah, we knew the stretch was coming, man. We, were, you know, we were really looking forward to this. We felt, um, you know, we felt we didn't we didn't play our game. You know, the last game against home against them. But now, when you play this game, you see like you know what this this is what we are against Creighton. We did we've done it twice in a row. So we got to learn from this. We got to learn. We got to get better and. Um, and then we got to put it behind us, and we got to prepare for Providence, who's who's playing good basketball. They're a good team. I, I think our conference right now, a lot of teams: Marquette, St. John's, Providence. Obviously, obviously Creighton's been doing it all year, but, but a lot of teams are playing Georgetown. A lot of teams playing really well coming down the stretch here. It's, it's going to be a really tough finish. And I've said it to you guys all along. You know, 22 and two, number six. That, that doesn't mean anything right now. You know, at this point in the season, it doesn't mean anything. It's not what you are. You are what you finish. So we got a lot of work to do to prove what we are. Thank you, guys. Great atmosphere for our first time here, man. This is a pretty cool place.